Okay, um, in Google Colab, let's start by getting our API key. I'm going to go to the Get Started page. Number one says you need a Google account. I hope you already have one. Number two, let's go to the Google Developer Console. I need to create a new project. Okay, my project is created. Now let's go to the library tab. Search for YouTube. YouTube Data API is the one that we need. Enable it. The API is enabled. To use it, we need to create credentials. Let's go over to the credentials tab. Create credential. API key is what we're going to create. Okay, copy this key. Let's edit the API key. Okay, so down here at API restrictions, we should restrict it to the YouTube data API. It's also good practice to limit the key to wherever you're deploying your code, but we're not gonna do that right now. Save it. Here's my key. Let me go back to my collab. Go over to the key tab. I already have one here. I named it YouTube Data API Key. And let me paste a new one in here. Make sure to enable notebook access so that the notebook can actually read it. This code right here allows me to grab the key. It's what I have right here. Colab already has these libraries installed, but if you're not using Colab, these are the libraries that you would install. We'll import the uh, YouTube Data API. I'm also importing this IPython display so that I can show YouTube videos directly in Colab. Now we're ready to search YouTube. Let me go over to their API guide. The search API is the one that we're going to use. They list a couple of common use cases to search by keyword, which is usually what we do. This is the sample use case. So notice that if I click on this, it's going to auto populate this white panel here where it lets us try the method. I'm going to click it. You can see that under the part parameter, it filled in a snippet. It's searching for the keyword surfing. Let me click on show code, go over to Python, and I scroll down all the way to the bottom. To search YouTube, we don't need to sign in using OAuth and check that. We're just going to use API key. But notice that the uh, code did not change. So I think it's a bug or something. If we go up here, just type a space and back it out, you can see that the code has been simplified. We don't need to worry about this. We just need to create an instance of the API client and then call the search.list function. You can see the required parameters here and then request.execute will get a response. So let me hop back to my notebook. So this is exactly what was in the sample code. Here's my request and response. Max results controls how many search results comes back. It's also going to give us a token so that we can use it to go to the next page. Here's the query. I added some extra parameters. I only want to search for videos that have captions. Also, I want to filter out things like playlists and channels from the results. I just want to see videos. After executing the request, I'm going to get a response. I'm passing that response into my search response class. Let me scroll down to that. Here's my search response class. So the response is going to look like this. All I'm doing with the class is just parsing out the JSON. So I'm getting the tokens and then I'm getting the, the items. The items is actually the list of videos. So it's this list right here. I'm creating a list to store the list of results or list of videos. I'm looping through that, passing it into my search result class. This part expands into the search result. 
JSON. So again, my search result class, all it's doing is extracting these uh, attributes from the JSON. Of course, you can grab other things from this JSON. Let me head back up to my function. My search function is pretty straightforward. It's going to return a search response object, which I will pass into my display YouTube results function. And all it's doing is looping through the search response, looping through the list of videos, printing out the video ID, printing out the title, and also remember we imported the uh, ipython display this will display the youtube video on colab uh, this is the function that actually displays it so let's run these functions let me run this to create the functions i need to uh, do the imports first Okay, functions created let me hop down to this section i'm calling the search youtube function I'm going to search for egg recipes, get it back into the search response object, pass it into my display YouTube results function. Let's run it. Ah. Got to run this first to establish the classes. Okay, here's the results. Um, okay, here's my video ID. Here's my title. Here's my video. And it's actually actually plays. Okay, here's my next video. All right, now let's go to the next page. To go to the next page, I call the exact same function again. I have to pass in the query again, and I have to grab the next page token from my search response, pass it into my search YouTube function. Okay, this should get me the next page. All right, here's my next page of results. So pretty straightforward. That's how we search YouTube with the YouTube Data API.